video sponsored by Maple Movers. No minimum order, no subscriptions. Free shipping on every item, every day at MeepleMovers.com. Okay, I'm here at the Red Raven booth with Ryan Lockett. He's going to show us the Near and Far expansion, Amber Mines. Yeah, so um, this is the, the pre-production copy for Amber Mines. Amber Mines adds a whole bunch of cool stuff to uh, Near and Far. So the first thing you'll see is you have these little boards mm -hmm. that you actually place on top of the old board, mm -hmm. and they change some of the buildings. So the, um, you know, the general store... Now it'll give you a coin and two hearts, and you can, if you buy a, an advanced artifact there, you can actually place a camp token on the uh, on the building. And then uh, the Mystics Hut adds a new thing where you can gain magic cards. So these are, are spell cards that you will um, draw. So actually, the way it works is when you go here, you can gain magic. You can either gain one magic, or you can pay a, a gem to gain three. And you move up on this track on this magic track here. And when you reach uh, one of these symbols, you can draw um, three spell cards and then you choose one. And there are a whole bunch of different spells in the game. And they have special abilities, like this one gives you a, a sword or two hands. This one, um, when you roll a die, you can, uh, you can roll it again. Oh no, you roll an extra die and then you keep the highest die of the two. And this one lets you gain a heart and a reputation when you use it. And the way it works is you put it in your tableau with your other, um, with your other stuff. And uh, when you use it, uh, you flip it over. And then when you go back to the Mystic's Hut, then you can flip the, all the used ones back again. You can use them again. Now, the, 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 the biggest change is actually in the mine. Instead of just going here and placing a, a camp on, you know, on one of the numbers, you actually you can explore the mine. So this is the entrance of the mine, and you'll you'll take your guy and you'll move through the mine, and you can based on how what, what your normal movement is, you can explore. So I could go that way, or I could go down because it has a down shaft. So I'm gonna I'm actually gonna go down. Let me draw a new card. Okay, and then I can stay here and build a, a, a camp here. And if I build a camp, um, I would get these resources, or I can like p press my luck and like keep going. So I'll say, okay, I'll, I'll press my luck and keep going. So I'll draw again. Okay. And now if I get to this point, um, if there's a little uh, symbol here, I have to actually roll a die and I add my skill number. And if, it, if it's not equal to that or higher, then I'll, I'll have, I'll, it means I couldn't get over this rock sled and I had to go back here. Now there are a bunch of challenges in here like that you'll have to overcome, like, uh, oh, this one gives three magic. Um, some of them have uh, monsters, like this is a giant spider you have to fight. And, uh, you know, there are other monsters in here. Now, one of the things you're looking out for, too, is you're trying to gather amber, because at the end of the game, whoever has the most amber gains a point bonus. So, yeah, that's, that's some of the biggest change. Also, the game comes with a new co-op mode. Mm -hmm. It comes with a board, so now you can play the game cooperatively, and, and where you and the players work together mm -hmm. against the game. So the Red King, he's kind of the villain in the, in the, in the, the basic game. He'll, you'll be sort of fighting against him, and it's kind of a race against time. So every time you take a turn, uh, all the players take a turn, you'll push this, uh, a token up this track, and and once you get to here, this is how many points each player has to have to win the game. So, like, when the game ends, you'll count up your points, and if it's equal to that or greater, then you, then you win. And uh, so, yeah, there's a lot of fun, extra crazy stuff in the <laughs> expansion. You can sort of mix and match and, and, and kind of do what you want. All right. So, I see on the box that it has a number one. So, is this the first expansion, or are there more coming? Yeah, this is the this is the first one. We have uh, at least one more plan. So, I, and, oh, I should mention there's actually more stories in the game too. They're in the rule book. Uh, at the back, um, there are two scenarios with extra stories mm -hmm. to read. So, uh, so when will this be available? Uh, we're looking probably at July uh, for a retail release. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you.